Hello YouTube, how's it going? It's a professional here. So I got a strange video for you guys today. And it's come to my attention that the raids on MC businesses and bunkers have been disabled. And if you guys don't know what a raid is, it's when you're in your MC, for your MC businesses or your bunker when you're in, a, in an active motorcycle club. And it has to be your own active motorcycle club or in a CEO in, in the case of bunker. But in the, the bunker can still happen in an MC. So you're in free mode, you're doing whatever, and randomly you'll get a call by either Agent 14 or LJT telling you that your bunker and your MC business is getting attacked and you have to stop what you're doing and you have to go over there and save it. And some of these missions can be so unforgiving, especially the bunker mission, the one where you, the Meriwether has hijacked your shipment and they have it in a Valkyrie and you have to stealthily kill them and if you don't succeed and you get spotted, they take off with a helicopter and then you have to shoot it down and then when you shoot it down you lose 50% of your stock. Or the MC business, when it gets attacked by a bunch of corrupt cops, you gotta go over there, you gotta clear them out, you gotta kill a bunch of them, and you gotta shoot down a helicopter, and the AI have such ridiculous accuracy on this mission. And then you gotta go save your staff in a van, and bring them back, and lose the cops. So some of these missions can be so annoying, and if you die once, it's over. It's over. You're gonna lose your product in your MC business, and your business is gonna get shut down. So you have to do the mission to start it up again, and it, it can be so frustrating. And you know, the security upgrades are supposed to reduce the amount of times that you get attacked, but I have security upgrades on five of my businesses, and I get attacked so many times. And you know, I thought I would talk about this since this is a grinding channel, and this is a channel dedicated to mostly making money. So I thought I would give you guys this tip here. And this this came originally, originally where I learned this from was on a, one of my live streams a few days ago. I had a bunch of people telling me in the comments that the business rates have been disabled, and I was like, what, really? Like, because it was just so strange when you think about that Rockstar would disable a feature that's so annoying, you know, that's costing us money. It's like, why would they r do that? And the re the so original source where this came from, where my subs learned about this on the live stream, was this guy called TezFun2. He's on, on, um, he's on Twitter, and you know, he's a leaker, and he, you know, th I don't usually talk about the leakers, and the reason I don't usually talk about them is because I don't like talking about something unless I have first-hand proof from Rockstar of something, that something's going on, something's gonna be announced. When I have proof from Rockstar, then I tend to talk about it, but usually I don't go off the leakers. But here, I wanted to do an investigation to see if, if I would actually still get attacked. And I did an investigation, and what I did was, I, when I went to sleep the other day, I left my PlayStation on. And what I did was I rubber banded my controller so that my character would keep walking around in circles for the whole night. And I left my PlayStation on to record. So my PlayStation was recording while my character was walking around in circles. And the reason I was walking around in circles is so I didn't get kicked. And I was doing this in, in a friend's session. In a friend's session, you can, still, uh, you can still get attacked. You can't do MC missions, but you can still get attacked. And all five of my businesses were full. The cocaine, weed, document forgery, counterfeit cash, and meth. And also my bunker was around at 50% of stock. And... The whole night, I didn't get attacked once. I was actually surprised. I got called by LJT a few times where he was complaining to me that my businesses were full. Here, let me skip to that part and show you guys. Hey, LJT here. There's a bottleneck at the man, so you'll have to unload some fake bills before you can print any more. Stop watching the currency markets and sell, sell, sell. It's as good a time as any other. So that whole day, I didn't get raided at all. My businesses didn't get attacked. And, you know, if, if my businesses did get attacked, you know, it would have been unfortunate. But I didn't. I don't really care that much because I have plenty of money anyways. It was more of a test to see for you guys if your businesses can get attacked. So judging by this so far, security upgrades technically right now are pointless. Technically at least pointless right now. And, you know, I'm thinking in my mind, why didn't Rockstar announce this? Why didn't they let us know that they were taking these, uh, they, they were disabling the MC business raids and the bunker raids? And, you know, the Tez Funds 2 guy on Twitter, he does say that he believes that it has something to do with the next update. And I do agree with him in that way also. I think that this has something to do with the next update, that they're readying the next update, and this might have something to do with it directly. But I don't think that this is gonna be staying permanently. Like, I could be wrong, and like, I mean, months from now, the business rates could still be disabled. But I'm just saying, guys, don't get your hopes up. Don't think that this is a permanent thing. Because if it was a permanent thing, I think Rockstar would at least announce it in some kind of patch notes. They would tell us we took out the MC business rates or something like that. And also, I don't know why they would continue letting you buy this security upgrades and security is pointless so right now as i'm speaking you cannot get attacked you will not get attacked and i asked people on my live stream the other day if they got attacked recently and not even one person asked me tell, told me that they got attacked recently so right now you can't get attacked i hope this stays i really really hope this stays because i've said it so many times 
I have said it so many times. If you buy security upgrades, you should never be attacked ever again. If you buy security upgrades, it shouldn't reduce the amount of times you get attacked. You should never get attacked again if you're going to buy the security upgrades. That's what I've always said. And, you know, if they do it, if they, they, they should at least do it that the security upgrades are going to make it permanent where you don't ever get attacked in the future. But, you know, I I'm, guess we're going to have to see what happens. And also, let me fast forward here, guys. I, what, what happened is the next day after I woke up and I was going to work that day, I went over to another part of the map. I went over to LSIA. So I went from Sandy Shores to LSIA and I started doing the exact same thing where I started going around in circles just to test if I would get attacked. So right here, guys, the same day, I was going to work and what I did before I left was I went down to LSIA to see if location mattered. So I went a lot farther than, than I did last time because I, last time I was at Sandy Shores and I did the exact same thing. I rubber banded my controller and I just walked around in circles for hours, left my PlayStation on and left it to record. And surprisingly, I actually didn't get called by LJT this one time. I was actually surprised. Walked around in circles. But what happened is the moment I stopped walking around in circles and I started exploring with my oppressor, started flying around, messing around. I actually got a call from LJT right after that, so here, let me play that for you. A, uh, word of warning, partner. The ID business is at maximum capacity, so you'll need to unload some bogus documents before you can print any more, or, like, make a profit, okay? Comprende? Sell something! LJT out! Later in that day, I actually got called by LGT a few more times. He actually called me three more times, and the exact same thing. He just kept complaining to me about my business is getting attacked. Basically, you guys get the idea, but I didn't get attacked one time. Did not get attacked one time. So apparently, the raids on bunkers and MC businesses have been disabled, but not for CEO crates. So make sure you guys keep that in mind. And as you guys can see from the computer here, all my businesses are full. My weed, meth, cocaine, counterfeit cash, they're all, all of them are full, and I have not been attacked. And I guess this is a, this is a good change. This is a good change because I've always said it that the MC raids are such a stupid idea because I, I have to pay, we have to pay daily daily charges for these businesses and we pay for security and we can still possibly get attacked and if you pay for security i've said it so many times and i'll say it again you should not be attacked i put tez funds to tweet in the description if you guys want to take a look at the original tweet but from experimenting here we have not been attacked and i ho personally i hope this stays but also guys don't think that this is going to stay don't think that this is going to be a permanent because if it was permanent I think Rockstar would have announced it to us. I think it might come back. It might come back even this Tuesday. We don't know. So just to keep that in mind. Just think that it could come back at any time. But like I said earlier, I really hope this stays. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are happy with this change. So now you can freely beat an MC and a CEO without having to disband every time. Because one thing that always annoyed me was I was always disbanding. The second I bought supplies, I went to each business, I would just disband. Because I was always paranoid that I was going to get attacked. But now you don't have to disband every time. So you don't have to worry about getting attacked. So let me know what you guys think down below. And if anybody has been attacked recently, well, please let me know in the comments. But I have not encountered one person who has been attacked. So apparently the feature has been disabled. And I hope it stays permanent. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone.